Hello dear students, today we will look at working with language part of unit 1 who did Patrick's homework. The first question here is fill in the blanks in the sentences below with the words or phrases from the box. You may not know the meaning of all the words, look such words up in a dictionary or ask your teacher. Now we have, we are given few options, they are either words or they are phrases. Now what is the main difference between words and phrases? Word is as, as you all know, word is a word, but phrases it has more than one word. As you can see out of luck, this is a phrase, it's a combination of more than one words. There is only one meaning to this phrase. This word has got one meaning, this phrase has got one meaning. True to his words, chores, C-H-O-R-E-S, you, sp you spell it as C-H-O-R-E-S, but you speak it as chores, chores, chores. Next is semester between you and me and Luca. Let us first look at their meaning, out of luck. Now what is out of luck? This phrase means that you are not very lucky at that particular moment, out of luck. I was out of my luck. I was very unlucky. Unlucky is a kind of synonym to this phrase. Mystery. Mystery is a word that means that there is something which you don't understand or you can't explain to these things. The next uh, mystery. You must have you uh, heard of this word in any of your comics. You know, the, um, something strange, something secret, which you cannot explain. Mystery. You can't explain a mystery. Nobody knows it. True to his words. True to his words means somebody who gave you a word, who promised you to do something or, uh, some, uh, or promised you to follow whatever, uh, you know, the promise that you have made. That is called true to his words. True to his words. The words that he gave, he was true on them. The words he gave or you gave, you have to be true on them. So that is true to his words. Whatever words you gave, whatever promise you have made, you have to complete it. The next word is chores. Now chores, what is chores? As you can see in the unit also, this word was used. Chores means daily routine work. There are many things you do when you wake up, you brush your teeth, you go to washroom, you do yoga, whatever all these things, you clean up your bed, you clean, you prepare your bag to go to school. These all things comes in chores. Most of you must be doing it. I know <laughs> if you're not doing it, your mom is really going to scream on you. If you don't do your chores, that chores is a combination of all the work that you do in a day that belongs to you okay that belongs to that that are your work you are supposed to complete them chores daily routine work semester semester is a period of six months semester is a period of six months between you and me now uh, again let's go back to semester semester is uh, m mostly used in educational context only uh, you must have seen that half yearly exam are there then annual exam also till half yearly one semester is over till final exam two semesters are over so semester means a period of six months in educational context only between you and me right? this word the, oh, sorry this phrase means something between you and me it's a sort of secretive thing that only you and me knows this thing look up now look up is a very uh, beautiful phrase it means to search look up means to search coming on to the questions i will not be giving you any answers you have to do all these things on your own don't look up anywhere in the internet i have given you this meaning of all these words and phrases you have to think if you want you can go back to the video you can see what the word or what the phrase means and then you have to solve these blanks. You also have to write these blanks in your notebook. It's very easy. You 